It's Rover! Hey there, Rover fans! Uh, it's Sailor with the December 2019 update on Rover. Um, I've made some improvements to Rover's motor control algorithms and up the speed by 50%. Uh, it's uh, really fast and stable now, which I love. Um, but uh, before I show you all that, I just want to show you a clip from July that I shot that I've been meaning to share. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoy. Thanks. What's up YouTube? It's Taylor. <clears throat> Doing another video with Rover here. Uh, I've got the tracking on the, the gimbal. We'll see if that works at all. But, um, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, so I've done some updates to Rover's software, specifically the software that drives the motors. Um, you may have seen in other videos, Rover would do a jitter or a shake. Uh, so if it was sitting there not moving, uh, the motors would go and kind of do this, the shaking action. And uh, I, uh, I did put Rover on an oscilloscope and it was exactly what I expected, which was um, uh, due to some peculiarities of the design of Rover's control systems, there was jitter in the CAN bus that was causing the motion to occur. Um, when I first started using the VESC motor controllers that are on Rover, uh, I couldn't get the velocity control mode on the controllers to behave well without a big thunk every time the speed changed. Um, so I found that the current control mode was really smooth and that's what I first built Rover with. But it meant that I had to do the velocity control system in Python on the Raspberry Pi and that required very high speed updates over the CAN bus, which worked with a single motor from my laptop when I was developing it. But it definitely had some issues uh, in practice on Rover with four motors being driven by a Raspberry Pi. Um, so recently, uh, as I've as you've seen in the last video, I want to uh, build Rover's autonomy system. And if I'm going to have Rover being driven by a computer, I'd like the motors to be really solid and reliable. With remote control, you can kind of deal with it. Um, but I really wanted to shore up that area of the system. Um, you see Rover's creeping forwards a little bit. There's a slight bug in my new code which uh, means the velocity never quite goes to zero, and it's, uh, it should be easy to straighten that out. Um, but it doesn't do the jitter anymore. And what I did was I, I went back to using the velocity control mode on the VESC motor controllers, um, but uh, I still do high speed updates and a slow ramp rate on the velocity, and that seems to eliminate the thunk that I was seeing, as well as some PID tuning that I guess I just never got quite right the first time. So now Rover's uh, really smooth and clean, still using the same VESC motor controllers. Um, I had thought about updating to the O-Drive in order to eliminate that issue. I have one O-Drive right now, but I'd need two for Rover, and I'd rather use that O-Drive on my Skittles robot that I'm going to be building. So I was really happy that I didn't have to trash $400 worth of motor controllers, and I was able to get it all working with the VESC. Um, 
So uh, if the tracking shot's still working, I'll drive Rover around. I also increased the speed by 50%, so it's quite a bit faster now, and uh, it's really nice. I've been driving it for a while, and the increased speed hasn't broken it. I just did a, a, almost a two-hour hike today with it, and it's been good. So uh, I'll drive it around a little bit more and show you how it works. Going slow there at first because the tracking will freak out. Just showing the nice, you know, when it stops, it just stops. Uh, well, again, as I mentioned, there's a slight, uh, slight non-zero velocity, which is a software issue I'll, I'll straighten out uh, next time I update the code. But um, it's not doing that jitter anymore. It really just feels like a solid robot, and that makes me really happy. Uh, so I'll go faster now. Hopefully the tracking doesn't freak out. Oh, it has lost it, and now it's caught it again. Totally lost tracking. So this is the speed now, 50% faster than it was before. And I find it's really nice, and it's it turns really fast. That's an update for Rover.